Let's get this party started indeed. Hello guys, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Let's Play Let's Play Let's Play Let's Play some goddamn Batman. What am I talking about? Not Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. Jeez. Whole part of this is having fun and going crazy. It's not about having a normal structured LP. Anyway, now we get to actually feel some combat. Oh, with me Oaks Fit, I guess. Um, Goddamn Batman wish with me Oaks Fit. So, um... <laughs> anyway, let's get some more fighting in here. We're gonna take this, gonna take that, and some of these, and some of those. And if you hit right... Oh no, we don't have that yet. If you hit at the right pace... You can actually do huge combos like this. Like, we just did 14 combos. <laughs> it becomes a, a system of flow more than just mashing any buttons. Well, it is mashing buttons. You mash square. But if you hit it in a rhythm, you get... It just becomes a lot cooler of a fight because it's actually flowing. Anyway... Wait for the Riddler to stop I'll let you run. talking a little. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You shut up too, Joker. Jeez. Anyway, we're going to start finding these all over the Asylum Riddler trophies, which we are going to try and pick up and collect. I believe I can get all 100 of them, but... Yeah, they're... Left by... The Riddler, Edward Nigma, who we will be meeting later. Well, meeting over the comm, so we've already met the goddamn Batman. Oh, I didn't want to do that. We've already met the goddamn Batman. Of course, we're bringing the Joker in. You can pause it and read the story and stuff if you want. Uh, Warden Sharp runs the asylum. And Commissioner Gordon doesn't look anything like Gary Oldman, unfortunately. But again, it's not based off the movie. Uh, is our main ally in this. We're also going to find these things lying around. These Joker teeth. We can take them all out if we can. Because they are also part of the Riddler's challenges. Which we're not going to learn about for a while yet. But whatever. Break whatever we can, right? Anyway. No, 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 no rendition of the Batman theme. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'll probably put it into the audio at some point just because <laughs> just them going no 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 Batman 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 What do you have to say to us, Eddie Burlow? Joker happened. You're lucky to be alive. He happened all over the asylum. I'll try and get it open. Ooh. Pacification. I'm with, Batman. I'm with the goddamn Batman. Back down there. Do you need help? No. I work better alone. Better stay here. Oh god, Zaz. Zaz is one of those villains of Batman that I didn't really grow up with, because He's a big villain. Like he he does have a big place in the Batman universe, but he was always one that never really showed up in the cartoons that often often because he was a an absolute psychopath who cut up his body and stuff like that and killed people with knives so he was a little bit violent for the cartoon like i believe he did show up but he didn't show up often joker's not far ahead but i mean well, it also depends on the cartoon you're talking about because i mean some of them like what was it uh 
Thank God. Was it, uh... It's Zaz. He's got Mike. He's strapped in the chair. Zaz is totally lost. I'm trying to remember which, which Batman it was he that had, uh... He'll kill Mike if he sees anyone trying to get close. He won't see Ooh, me. Who played Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars movies? I um, I know the name. I know the name. I can't believe this. It's Harrison like Ford and... and this guard was Han Solo and it was... Do you hear me? Oh, God! I can't remember his name, but the guy who played Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars movies always played the best Joker, I thought, in the Batman cartoon series, because he just had the Joker laugh, like, the best Joker laugh. And it was just weird to see, Mark Hamill, and it was just weird to see it coming out of his, out of his mouth, because I'd grown up with him as Luke Skywalker, not as the Joker. Have another. But anyway... Yes, this this is Zaz right here electrocuting Mr. Guard. Do we have a No, we have the Oracle which is Gordon's Commissioner Gordon's daughter. I believe she was also in the cartoons, wasn't she the uh the second Robin um uh, the only female Robin until I believe she became paralyzed while working for Batman or something. Anyway, we need to take this guy out without him noticing, so we're gonna climb on these gargoyles and glide kick him in the back. Zaz and be down, like, take this, because I'm the Batman. Batman. Someone put this animal back in his cell. Alright, Victor Zaz. I'm gonna look him up, because I. Uh. Oh, God, Harley Quinn. I really like Harley Quinn, but I really like her original incarnation. I don't like your new uniform, because it doesn't fit you. I mean, you're Harley Quinn. You're Harlequin. You're supposed to be jo dressed as the as in the Jester uniform, and this it does fit because it's kind of the nurse uniform style, but it doesn't fit because it's a skimpy uniform. I mean, why do you have that corset at all? One chance to surrender. It really makes no sense because the only one that Harlequin ever seemed to thought I heard music, and I'm like, was that an ice cream truck? Because it is summer, and I'm like, oh my god, I haven't heard an ice cream truck in years. Um, but no, Harley Quinn's... By the way, I'm going to be talking over a lot of these cutscenes, because Oracle, I'm here. I've got the sub subtitles on. Um, Harley Quinn, she made, she was always the one that was enamored with Joker. She was never... She never used her um, sexuality for anybody else, and now she's just becoming a fetishized female villain. She's becoming another Poison Ivy or another, well, even though she's not a villain, another Catwoman of all things. Which, I mean, that worked for Catwoman because she used her sexuality as part of her shtick, and it worked kind of for Poison Ivy. Anyway, supposedly we're trapped, but there's a vent! So what do we do with vents in every video game? <laughs> Climb through them, of course. And in every cartoon? Climb through them, of course. Because, you know, they they conveniently make them wide enough. I'll probably talk more about Harley Quinn later. Actually, let's look up her bio. Because we've got that now. Oh, we wanted to look up Victor Zaz's, too. We'll look up Harley Quinn's first. I mean, that is the outfit that I grew up with. And that makes sense. Like, I could understand if she put parts of the nurse's outfit on over it. Well, even the nurse's outfit doesn't make sense. Because she started in Arkham Asylum as a doctor. Not as a nurse. So it doesn't it it doesn't make sense for her her costume in this game. At least I think so. Uh, yeah, you can read that. Oh, I keep hitting R one or L one. You can you can read these if you want. I mean, they're kind of cool, but it's not that big of a it's not that big of a deal. I mean, you don't really get the relationship between her and Joker in this game either, because there's not really... He doesn't have the blatant disregard for her and see her only as a henchman. It almost like It's almost like he sees her as a sort of equal, which is weird, because you never get that in any of the comics or cartoons. 
a true sociopath. Zaz grew up in a life of ease, but nonetheless became a serial killer. Indiscriminately, in his, indiscriminate in his prey, body count is the only thing that matters to Zaz. He takes pleasure in arranging the corpses of his victims in lifelike poses before carving a mark for each of his victims into his own body. He is saving a special spot for the Batman. The Batman. The Batman. Here we're going through an Arctic. No, 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 Batman. Batman. God, it's Joker. He's free. Oh god, what's Joker doing now? What's he up to? Yeah, another Riddler trophy. We'll pick that up. Why don't we? Oh. Wait, where are we now? Oh, we're back with you. Cool. What's going on? Take out these guys quick. With a quick L1 tap. Oh crap. Joker's laughing gas. No! Don't seal them in! That seals their fate! Of death! Joker talks. <laughs> Listen, the room is full oh, that's the of Joker laughing gas. Anyone caught in there is dead. Are you gonna get in there and help them? Or, I don't remember what it's actually called. Anyway, um I'm gonna see you guys next time on Let's Let's play the goddamn Batman! Let's play goddamn Batman! <laughs> With Miox Fu. This is always going to ca be a very casual this LP. So I'm gonna just go off on rants like this throughout the entire series, probably. I'm probably gonna lose track with a lot of things I'm saying, but it's okay. It's not. It's not a very serious LP. I mean, what do you need to know? It's Batman going around, roughing thugs up and being the goddamn Batman. I'm gonna look at that mug. <laughs> He's not pleased to see us. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.